last time on Lawful Stupid. Off in the distance, you hear screaming. We'll need to roll initiative. There's two swarms of Cathy's. About four. Rush forward. Gain their ire. Draw them away from the townspeople. And I think clanging on the shield, too. If I'm trying to draw it, I might as well be making a spectacle of it. You, you, Matt, you keep doing what you're doing, but try this. And I would like to propose a wombo combo. It's dinner time. You see the flames jump up and land on several of the bees as they start to wildly fly about. It looks to be maybe about half the size of the original swarm. There's a little blonde child. She kind of yells, don't hurt them too badly. You see these bees try to get past your armors as they all miss. Uh, you, you blonk one bee into another and it, like just knocks one out of the sky onto the ground. Now the bees can consume both of you within their area. So yeah, I'm gonna watch helplessly. <laughs> just imagine the song Dancing Queen is playing right now and I'm just spinning around swirling my mace. Yeah, the bees come in and bite and claw and try to sting at you. Once more with your courage try I'm gonna make another smoke sleep cloud. They start falling from the air and flop onto the ground one by one. Balfour, you can tell that me is sliding off your shoulder as she goes into a snooze. A giant elephant then goes to sleep on the ground. During this minute, we should go around and stomp all these bees. All right, then I'm knocking them all unconscious. You notice something weird, something odd, but from their mouth, you can see that there's like black goop kind of like oozing around and as you uh look at all all your things and the farmers kind of like slowly getting up from their hiding place you can hear oi kind of like trying to keep himself together another day is here and you're ready for it what to wear check breakfast lunch and dinner check planning for what's next and how to save for it that's where bank of america can help for your financial to-dos, Bank of America has experts ready to help get you closer to your goals. Get started at one of our local financial centers or 24-7 in our mobile banking app. Find a location near you at bankofamerica.com slash talk to us. What would you like the power to do? Mobile banking requires downloading the app and is only available for select devices. Message and data rates may apply. Bank of America and a member FDSE. Welcome Just buzzing noises. Yeah, just all buzzing noises. Um, no, no buzzing noises. Just the little, little soft hums and, uh, I guess, purrs of sleeping cat bees laying on the, the honk ground. shoes of little cat bees. It'd be like, you guys it. made Ginger's job it. so much easier. Got except it. For the, it. There you go, Ginge. Except for the dead <laughs> ones that you pierced with an arrow. Yeah, not. They sound like this. Nailed it. That's good. <laughs> yeah, nailed it. Nailed it in one. <laughs> I appreciate that moment of silence. <laughs> for the bees. For the bees. Pour one out for the bees. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you, you have sleeping bees that you've knocked out, and you guys are there as the farmers kind of, like, shuffle around the plants and kind of crawl out from the, uh, ditch that they were kind of hiding in. Uh, so, Mac, as a point of order, has to do two things. The first thing mm -hmm. is he has to begin to, uh, salvage arrows... I can salvage half the amount that I used. So, mm -hmm. round it down. Um, so, and two, uh, I'm going to collect some of the dead cat bees. Okay. We're going to eat them later. Yeah, I feel yeah. like you guys killed about 40% of the cat bees. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I mean, you just give me a number. It doesn't have to be crazy. Uh, no, see, I'm trying to, like, math, math. Just give it to him in pounds. That's what I do with meat. Yeah. 
How many pounds of cat of cat bees did I get? <laughs> Used to be alive, now it's just reduced to flesh. I mean, considering they're cats and mm-hmm. they were a swarm of bees that range from kitten to normal cat size. I feel like you could maybe pick up like 20 to 25 pounds of cat. Okay, well, let's call it 20. That's so much more than that. That is 10 I mean, times the amount I was projecting. Kittens can be like a pound, whereas like a normal cat is 10. Yeah, but how much of that is bone? Well, I'm giving you the entire cat. Yeah, I'm getting the whole thing. I don't want to figure okay. out bone. Okay, so that's not that's not pounds <laughs> of, of, of usable that's meat. Not flesh. That's just yeah. pound. That's carcass. Yeah, you this yeah. is the entire carcass, this is what you get. Got it. That may, uh, now, now I'm with you. Now we're on the same same field. Uh while he's doing that, uh <laughs> Axel's gonna wake up walk up to him and kinda like get alongside of him and, and, and raise his hand like in triumph to the to the to the farmers. Like, oh look! Look at my big strong boy! <laughs> Uh, they'll they'll look over and you see a couple uh, gentlemen and a couple children, um, n- no older than the age of twelve, um, maybe like eleven and nine if you had to guess. Hard to tell. Um, one of them a blonde little girl, the other one um, a little tan brown haired boy. Uh, one of them kind of looks like it's related. It's that he's related to uh, one of the men, where the other one, he's got bright, curly, light brown hair um, and kind of like thicker features. Um, And and they'll wave and approach the one with darker hair. He'll look over and be like, "Uh, thanks for uh, saving our hides there, gentlemen. That was was a little difficult. He'll kind of like rub the back of his head. And no trouble at all for Mac McFloppy ears and Balfour Long Tusks, and I was there too. His name is Axel. Oh, his little girl will speak up. Oh, oh, I thought his name might have been I. Uh, if it's if it's not, then Ax- Axel's good too. Hello. Yeah, I'm actually. This is. You might have been thinking about me. Me. And I gesture to the fairy. Um, you'll see me and the little girl lock eyes, and it's a moment of exploding cuteness. Um, they'll wave at each other. Uh, and it's kind of like cute. But you're like, oh, hello, me. And me will be like, ah, just, hello. Um. And the gentleman, uh, one of the two with the darker hair, he, he looks at you guys. Uh, uh, is there. I don't really know if there's anything I can give you for saving our skins, but uh, he'll, he'll look over the bees. Uh, thanks for not killing all of them. Are they, are they your. Are they, I'm gonna get my voice locked in, I'll say. <laughs> You can't see me. I'm John Cena. You can't see me. I'm John Cena. That's all I lost me. Fell off. It fell off. That's how I get ready. Uh, so tell me, what is what is your relationship to these bees? Are, are they your bees? Do you own the bees? Uh, yeah, they're they're part of our apiary. Uh, so we farm honey and wax and other bee products out here. That's our shtick. Uh, we we also have like meat and other stuff too. That makes sense. Uh, sure, uh, sure, but we like mead. We do like mead. <laughs> These bees have this weird black jelly coming out of their mouth. I didn't touch it, but any idea what that is? Oh, we. No idea. We went to go check it out before uh, we uh, started running this direction. I didn't see that because I was back there. Could you point that out to me? 
yeah, sure, check it out. I uh, pull a bee out of my bag and show him the black iker. Just a real quick arcana history. Do I need to roll? I won't if I don't need to. Um, you can try rolling. Which uh, one? We'll tell you now. It's going to be hard. Okay. Which one? Arcana or history? Um, what shame it's the same. For. It's the same. They're both the plus six. Doesn't matter. It just depends on which way I present it to you. Which way would you like to do it? Doesn't matter to me. I rolled a natural twenty. <laughs> rolled a natural twenty for twenty six. I'll do it. Um, uh, let's do history. If, if if you if you want it to be something that I've I've actually seen before or heard about or read about, then we can do history. And if you want to just be like, oh, I know something's up because this is like magical, we'll do Arcana. Whatever it. Fits yeah, with the a natural more. twenty, I'll lean on both. Why not? Okay. Um. It feels weirdly familiar and unfamiliar at the same time, Axel. Um, It reminds you of a person from your past and how they quickly went away. The substance, you've done research on it throughout your history. You've looked into it. It was never apparent when you first started, but it looks similar to the poison of of the gloomthorn and usually it kills things but this it's got the same vibe you can tell like checking out the substance either like touching and feeling it um how it interacts with you it's just uh, it's just not interacting with the way that you have known it to do yeah okay um, I'll kind of call over to my shoulder. Uh, Oishin, uh, come take a look at this. Uh, he'll get up and walk on over. And he'll 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 check it out. And I'll and I'll and I'll also ask the farmer. I'll say, um, would anyone uh, have any reason to cause you harm? Have you any rivals or enemies? Um, Oil will look at the stuff and the farmer will answer you. <clears throat> well, not really. Like, we kind of compete with each other, like, up and down the road because there's other apiaries and other mead makers and what have you, but it's wartime. Everybody uses everything of everything. Uh, uh, I mean, I don't think I've ever heard of dragons producing such a thing, have you? Not dragons, no. Oh, the kids kind of like, kind of hide under their uh, adult figure shirts. No, 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 nothing to do with dragons. Uh, poison. Um. These, these. I don't know if someone's poisoned them, or if some, so maybe some source from which they feed could have been contaminated. But it's pretty nasty stuff, and not easy to come by. Uh, the dark-haired gentleman, he'll just shake his head, shrug his shoulders like he has no idea, quite bewildered by it. Uh, the other one will be like, uh, very soft-spoken. He's, I, I don't, if anything, if it's coming from their mouths, perhaps it's something they eat, but the range of flowers are everywhere. Hmm. Um, I mean... This time of year, there's not many, so perhaps by the waters or closer to the forest. But I, I don't, I don't know. Could you, perhaps on my map here, could you, could you perhaps circle maybe the area in which they would, the the, the area in which they would roam, kind of their largest area of influence. Uh, they go pretty far, but uh, all over. I, I can give you a roundabout estimate, give or take. Sure. It's 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 very nasty stuff, and if it makes its way into the honey, I can only imagine. He'll he'll give you about a five mile radius, kind of like from this 
spot and he'll, he'll tell you it's like oh this this bed here is uh where our farm is it's not too far up the road but um bees travel far uh, the furthest we know about it is going down the neighbors um but uh sometimes they stick close and sometimes they go where they want to roam sure like herding bee cats I understand <laughs> he'll chuckle and nod well at the very least I would um isolate these uh and and I don't know what level of quarantine you want to do with your own product. If this is trying to make its way in, I would probably do some tests. Maybe some very brave fellows with sweet tooth. Sweet teeth? That's right. <laughs> Depends on sweet how many teeth. they have. Pulls out a piece of paper and a quill. Wait a second. Sweet teeth? Sweet tooth? That doesn't look right. Sorry, what were you saying? Uh, I just said it depends on how many teeth they have. He'll kind of like <laughs> half smile. <laughs> is he is he giving me a full smile with half the teeth, or is he giving me a, a smirk? Kind of like a little smirk. You don't really see how much of a teeth he has. <laughs> Understood. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get your name. Players bringing up names for the DM to come up with things. Devin's the worst. Dev, Devin does it just to get you. Devin knows when you what, when he thinks you, this character doesn't have a name, and he'll be like, excuse me, I'm sorry, I didn't get your name. <laughs> it's always the same way. It's always exactly like Dwayne just said it. Oh, excuse me, I, I didn't get your name. It's it's a little it's a little cheeky. <laughs> and you never will. I'll just run away. That's what oh, PC should the, the, uh, the darker hair one, he'll gesture to the lot of them. He's like, oh, where are the meadow keeps? You'll probably see our uh, ale in town or a meat. Ooh. Uh, I'm Randern. Uh, this is my husband, Joe. Our wife's over back at the house, and these are our kids. Uh, uh, the girl and the boy, they'll, they'll both pipe up. She'll be like, oh, I'm Audrey. And, uh, uh, the other kid will be like, it's Tantaru. <laughs> well, it's wonderful to meet all of you. I'm glad we um, could help. Yes, I'm glad we didn't end up as bee food. Thank you. The kid, the other kid will like, cross his arms like, yeah, thank you. It is appreciated. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a sour disposition, but he, 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 know, you know, he calls a spade a spade. <laughs> <laughs> He's a straight shooter, this, this child. <laughs> Excellent. Well, glad we could help. Um, just as a, an aside, um, you guys uh, wouldn't know of any areas nearby with sort of, you know, weirdly powerful artifacts? Ran, Dern, and Joe would look at each other and just be like, oh, shake their head and shrug, like, what artifact? Like, you know, the magic shit? That that doesn't really end up over here. Maybe over in the Emerald Forest, if anything. But mm-hmm. or perfect, like a like a ribbon or a, a pocket watch, maybe a coin of some sort. They you you see the math meme behind them, like mm-hmm. the circles and the squares and the geometry, like, <laughs> <laughs> like I. Uh, Joe would be like, I have no idea. I mean, have you tried the museum over in Exalus? Nope. But that's okay. Mm. If we have time, we'll uh, we'll get the uh, we'll get that black goo out of your bees. Oh, uh, I mean, if you find anything, that'd be appreciated. But you don't have to worry too much. I mean, it is it's our farm. Sure. I also just think we could make a great poison out of it. Based on what Axel said. Axel snaps him a mean mug. One mean mug your way, sir. Uh, Anya will, like, raise her hand and be like, Is it poison bad? It kills you. Yes, poison is bad. 
Mac oh, returns yeah. the mean mug. <laughs> now, now we're now we're mean mugging each other. <laughs> Mac is confused. We're in a mug off, bro. <laughs> um. Uh, Randrin, he'll look at you. I was like, well, if you fellows are looking around, you're free to walk about the farm, and uh, I mean, if you get tired of it, you can come stay at the house, the big old homestead, um, big uh, golden plate, golden painted place, not gold, just really bright yellow, you know. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. You know, some people think you're more richer. They're very kind. Well, you, you saved our behinds. <laughs> yes. He'll kind of grin. Uh, you earned so, that one. So the best we can do is uh, offer you a place to sleep at night or, or a warm meal, especially if you helping us trying to figure out what's going on. Those both sound lovely. Uh, however, we uh, gotta get back out to working on the field because, you know, burning daylight. Uh, he'll point down the road. It'll be about like 30 minutes that away. You'll see the house come up. Uh, uh, otherwise, kind of gestures everywhere. Not really any big boundaries out here. Excellent. Thanks for your time. Uh, I just keep heading in the direction of the Emerald Forest. Uh, wish, wishing you took a look. What? Why would? Was it something Thorn? Was it Willow Thorn? No. Gloom. Thorn. Gloom thorn. Yeah, gloom thorn. Why uh, on earth would these bees be doing full of gloom thorn? He'll look at it and like, I have no idea. However, this is dark stuff. It's not great. Remind me again, Dwayne, what is the name of your character's order? Or faction? Uh, Daybreakers. Daybreak Warden. Daybreak, Daybreak Warden. Warden, excuse me. Mm-hmm. Daybreak yeah. Warden is the actual name. We are Daybreakers or whatever. They teach you tracking and whatnot in the Wardens, yes? Both of you, presumably? Uh, sure. He'll kind of like smile. It's like mine's not really tracking. It's training uh, new uh, Wardens. Do you train them how to track? A uh, different division. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's in the, uh, the oh, sorry, they're in the nerd division, as it were. Damn unions. <laughs> yes, they like their paper. Oh, someone's got to do it. Hmm, that's not me. Uh, so we want to track these things. Is that what you're hinting at? If there is gloomthorn in the wild, that these these f- fauna are being exposed to. Uh, that's very dangerous. And mm-hmm. if someone put Bloom Thorn into these bee supplies, somebody's poisoned them, I want to know who and I want to know where they got the poison. Before Mac responds, you see him just like dumping his bag of bees out onto the ground. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you shouldn't eat those. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Sure, sure, sure. Let's find these, these, because I, I want to eat them, not these, though. Let's get some fresh ones. So Balfour's just kind of been thinking, and he says, um, what if other beer sellers don't like this beer being sold using this honey? That was my first thought as well, but... He kind of made it sound like they more have a friendly competition. I don't think that they're really cutthroat. But maybe I'm wrong. Well, only one way to find out. Um, I 
Which direction did he say these things came from? North. So he said they range pretty much anywhere within a five mile radius of the of the farm. It's incredibly useless. It's pretty pretty big. Okay. Uh, I think, yeah, Mac will kneel down to one of these. Uh, no, there's fucking alive ones. He's going to go over to the alive ones. Yeah, maybe see if you can see like their pattern or whatever. I don't know. Yeah, just just take a good look at them. And I'll I get an s- aerial view with Titania as well. Mm. And then I want to survey the area around me. I would like to attempt to track these particular um, cat bees. They've got an official name that I've clearly forgotten. I hope, were we told the official name? Cat bees. <laughs> cat bees. Yeah. Got him one. That's it. It's cat bees. Excellent. Um, I just assumed that was some bullshit. I was making up because that's something <laughs> I would too. do. Um, and I, I want to attempt to track these back to at least their hive. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool beans. Um... Roll me survival, because you're trying to track where they're coming from. I would um, like uh, to use my inspiration. Don't mm. worry about <laughs> it. Worry uh, at advantage. You have the map oh. that's been circled. You have a radius of where the farm is. <sighs> um. All right, that's a 22. <laughs> I wonder what your first roll was. It would have been an 8. <laughs> Minus the 20, and you're, you're, you're there. I rolled a 3, and then a 17. Very nice. Um, and Titania is going up and flying around, keeping eyeballs on things. Could you- yeah, I'm going to go into her senses, and I'm, I'm specifically looking for patterns. Like, not necessarily, like, um, trying to follow one particular swarm of bees, but kind of see, like, the larger picture, kind of how they rotate through the fields. Yeah, um, I believe it's her senses. Uh, so I think owls roll at advantage for sight. I think you're right. Yes, they have keen hearing and and, and sight, so they get advantage on those perception checks. Excellent. Uh, I gotta find out what the plus is. It is a plus three with advantage. Uh, eighteen. Okay, cool beans. Uh, Mac, you look at the sleeping bees. Um, one of the men, after like settling over where the others are, have wandered back on over here, and they kind of like uh, Joe. He'll give like a slight wave hello, but kind of like start getting the bees, kind of like tying them up, k- taking care of them gently to like figure out what's going on with them, kind of vibe. Mm-hmm. Um, he's got chorin to do. He's got chorin to do, and you're looking at the bees. You're trying to figure out. You do know that they came from the northwards direction because they were running south. Um, so they're not going to go fly back. Uh, the ones you fought, but some of the ones that are kind of like just bumbling about in the field, you'll, you'll see them, and you'll kind of like watch their patterns for a bit and. Do your best to guess what bees would do. Yeah, trying to get inside the mind of a bee. Yeah. Um, With a 22. Uh, You're from the north. Bugs aren't there that often. Uh, But swarming creatures, I mean, kind of the same vibe. Maybe maybe it'll still be kind of the same. So you go and wander. um, And wander with a purpose. Um, And you start going kind of like north and north east. Maybe someone's had a DM who mixed up East and West. So since sometimes Avon has to like play the game of like nobody eats soggy waffles. Uh, Never eat shredded wheat where I come mm. from. Yeah, no, we got soggy waffles. <laughs> <sighs> um, so he start going into like a northeasterly direction as you go through these fields. Yeah, it's kind of sweet out here. There are some flowers, but not as vibrant with colors just yet. It's still growing. Spring still just trying to like pop through. Um, whereas um, 
to Tanya. She's flying ahead over all of you guys to get a big layout of everything. Um, a huge picture of the entire world. Uh, Axel, you could probably feel yourself get like pushed along. Probably. Mm-hmm. Oi. When, uh, when, when I work into uh, <laughs> Tanya, I think Balfour just, you know, wraps his trunk around my waist <laughs> and drags me around. How much do you weigh? Oh, well, you're, not, you're not carrying me. You're, you're, this is your dragging weight. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. I am large size. Considered a large size for that, so got it. Okay. Uh, so you're, you're getting dragged by Balfour. I'm in the bed. And you try to get the lay of the land looking for patterns. And um, it takes you a little bit longer, but as you see Mac like on the ground do his thing um, you can start to see the patterns forming and it kind of looks like Mac is already following that trail for you guys nice Um, and you can see where Mac is heading towards where like the home base apiary is and it's like a giant looking shed Uh, I mean it's an apiary for a cat bee they're they're, they're a little bit big uh, than normal bee boxes um bee boxes and a little bit to the still northeasterly direction you'll kind of see like a little creek or something off in the distance of where there might be the waters and where it seems to be a little bit more flowery um a little bit more pop of a color um definitely trees and other things about what what I'm gonna have Titania focus in on is maybe mm-hmm. now that kind of we're in the more, rich, more localized area, um, any like patches of like death, like any like spot that's not green and lush or where plants are noticeably missing. You don't see anything of that nature. Not obviously. The grasses don't seem to be like that off yellow or brown color. Uh, doesn't seem like there's a pile of dead animals anywhere. <clears throat> We fell down. <laughs> but there's this one concentrated area with water and flowers is what we're picking up from this area, right? Yeah, like a like a creek running from... That's where Mac's going to head. head. East to west. He knows enough about yeah. bees that, you know, they fuck around with flowers. So... <laughs> they should... <laughs> that's, that's their food mm-hmm. source. So it's he's going to head that school. direction. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It, it's a bit of a walk um, for you guys. Has been this whole um, time. Mac fucking hates it. <laughs> yeah. Bit of a hike, yes. It's a bit of a hike. You gotta go through plants, gotta chop through them. Uh, Mia's living the high life of sitting on Balfour's shoulder. She doesn't have to walk. Um, I mean, how long of a trip are we talking? Because I got Tensor's Floating Disc as a ritual. We, we got um, about about two hours yeah i'll trip. take the 10 minutes to make tensors floating disc so only one person has to walk at a time the rest <laughs> of us can float on the disc uh, mac and uh <laughs> axel get up on the disc bow four is too heavy for I'm the disc. old you see because i'm so old well it's got a weight limit and the, our guy is heavy what is it it's like 500 pounds he did say he was 420 pounds yeah it's like 500 mm-hmm. pounds i think oh, i'm good golden yeah, but Axel's got to get up there. Then I got to get up there. I mean, that's not really going to work. And then there's no room. <laughs> yeah, you can definitely float through the flowers. Thank um, you, Balfour. You're my big, <laughs> strong buddy. boy. You're so strong and cool. <laughs> Sometimes I think you two are the same size. Whitewashing this fence is so fun. <laughs> <laughs> You'll want to get in here. <laughs> You're going to want to get in on this. Is there a fence somewhere? I'm no, that's a Tom around. Sawyer reference. It's a dumb joke. No, like I'm trying to trick Malfour into thinking that it's fun to pull the sled. <laughs> that one hit me in the giggle dick hard. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, I make that joke a lot and, and it doesn't usually land except for with this specific age group like we were forced to read Tom Sawyer <laughs> in middle school and we know 
Mm. <sighs> Goodness. Um, All right. So is there any of that Gloomhaven bullshit around here? Gloomthorn? Excuse me. <laughs> That's a different game. <laughs> That's a different That's game. That's what we're playing for Campaign 6, dude. We're playing for Gloomhaven. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you, you guys travel in the northeast-ish direction, and you'll eventually like start to hear it first in the distance. Um, like the the running of water. Mm. It's a creek vibe, so it's kind of slow water, right? It's not fast and rambunctious. Um, and plants and trees and what have you. Uh, what would you guys like to do? I'm looking for that gloom thorn. That's what I'm doing. I'm also looking for gloom thorn. I've I've researched the plant a little bit. I know what it looks like. I should be able to give them like a brief description so they know what they're looking for. So you know the substance. You don't know it's a plant. Well, it's There's true. an idea that it's on a plant. So that's, I where, that's where you guys su- getting the substance, but I but I don't know what it's derived from. Yeah, no one knows what it's derived no one, oh, from. Oh, it's kind of a spooky. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's big spooky. They just know it exists and what it can do. Gotcha. So we really don't know what we're looking for. I'm looking for black acre. That's what I, that's what Mac is looking for. Can I can I sniff that? See if it has a distinct smell, and then see if I can smell that anywhere else from any of the surrounding foliage. Um, classic sniff check. The only one who investigated the black ichor and knows about it would be Axel. And Axel, you and would Oishin. know. And Oishin, um, but I'm, I'm going to give it to you because you're the player. Yeah. Um, you would know that it's scentless. Okay. Uh, so you could try too. to roll for it. All right. Just smell for the absence of smell, please. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wherever you don't smell anything, that's where it is. That's where we're going. <laughs> mm-hmm. Or it's something that smells exactly like the inside of your nose. Mm. We don't really know. Do we? Ooh, that's boogies. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you can try to stiff it out, but uh, roll me your peepers to do the looking. All right. So, <clears throat> do you? I'm assuming this is investigation versus um, perception. Perception. If you're trying to like take a look around, um, investigation. If you're purposely like looking in certain places, like I think that'd be investigation. Kind of what's near. <laughs> All right. Uh, let me go back to here. First roll is a 13. Second roll is an 18. Um, and that's for hearing it. Uh, no, I get advantage on uh, anything that's with uh, my trunk. Sniff, okay. If it's sniff specific. It's specific. It's specific. Perception yeah. checks that are based on smell, I think <laughs> is the way it reads. So we're doing perception check for, I guess, 13 on site. 18 on hearing? No, that's sorry. I did that for just for the one. Just Did you want me to roll for both? Or just... I just rolled for the one, a 13, 18 for the investigation. So, so can, if I may for one second, just because this is a, a, a... I'm not... And if I'm saying something you already know, then stop me. Um, perception is any of the five senses. You can roll for that. And mm-hmm. then, like, my owl specifically on sight and hearing perception checks has advantage. He has the same thing because he has a big old trunk. It's things based on smelling. Yeah. So I, I still need a roll for like on seeing, right? Well, yeah. I, I, so this one's specifically just he's, for he's I mean, perceiving if you to look with his nose with, with my okay. trunk. Yeah. Okay, we are still on perception. Um, so what? Eighteen. Eighteen. Uh, did anybody else want to do their investigation or perception rolls? I mean, Matt I don't is really have anything looking to- for Blackacre. Yeah. Give me your investigation. I'm looking for anything that's out of place. I don't really know what I'm looking for. So anything that's like unnatural for the mm-hmm. for the area is what I'll be scoping out for. What would you like me to roll for that? Mm, perception is kind of broad. Max you're looking, but I'm not sure what you're looking for. Okay. 18, 18, and... And 12 for Axel. 12. Axel, you're looking for things that seem out of place. Uh, you're, you're a scribe, old man. 
your <laughs> your homestead is usually surrounded by books and paper. Uh, this is the stuff before it becomes paper. It's kind of gross. <laughs> I'm familiar with some botany because I got to make my own magic ink. <laughs> Um, I know a little bit of plant craft, but not. You know a little I'm, bit of plant craft, yeah. I, I, uh, I know I know the weeds in my area that are useful to me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, which ones you can cook and eat? Yeah. Makes sense. Which ones you uh, can use? To, you can chew to stop a headache. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it, it seems like a field. Seems like a flower field has trees that look normal. It doesn't sound out of place out here. Um, the birds be singing and the bees be buzzing. Uh, the mushrooms are cool. Uh, mushrooms. I mean, you gotta go <laughs> they're where they're supposed out to be. for them. Yeah, but they're they're where they seem to be. <laughs> okay. If there's any, they're not out in the bright sunlight. There's nothing areas. weird and colorful out here. You don't see shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for my 18 sniffer, um, trying to find something. It's sweet out here, right? Like it's made out of honey, it's made out of flowers. It's it's got that good flowery scent. It's not quite overwhelming. Uh, it's just kind of like a little wisp of Febreze on the wind that somebody put out there. Um, but nothing, nothing reeks of decay. Nothing smells like a bog it doesn't smell humid it is just it's nothing gross is out here not that you can tell with your nose hmm. um and like as you're up on this creek and you're walking up the sides and exploring and looking for things um mac you're looking for something on a plant uh because bees eat plant mm-hmm. yep that's why i came here Therefore, something must be wrong with that. That's exactly why I came here, yep. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and you're scrutinizing the plants that you walk by. Like, some of them look like flowers, some of them look like whatever. Um, but then you'll get to, like, one little patch of, like, a couple flowers near the water. And you can see, like, just barely... That there looks like a little drop of ooze kind of like in the center. Hmm. Gentlemen. I found the gross stuff. Ah, where? Let me see. Uh, I like motion to where I am. I don't know exactly where everybody else is, but kind of like wave. I'll make my way over to him. Uh, right here at my feet, but I, I'm not. I'm not going to touch it. That seems like a bad idea. A wise course. It's kind of like in the dip of the creek, kind of like right on the edge of the water, kind of like. Uh, is it uh, overlooking? Is there into any it? in the water? No, not in the water. Um, just like <laughs> on the edge of the water. <laughs> um, they poison and, the drinking well. Gonna miss them. Uh, I realize something silly. Mm-hmm. Um, I have my computer in dark mode, so everything's inversed. And I'm looking at the f- picture that is the inspiration for my plant. And I'm like, I'm going to describe all the colors wrong. This is inverted. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to work very well. Some people have that on all the time, Avon. Yeah. Uh. It does happen. Put it in a bright scene so I can see it describe it the way I want it to be so you look at this plant and it's got wispy petals um, and almost translucent in like iridescent shades of blue and purple and white um, mm. kind of almost like a beta fish fin and there are seven petals off of this plant um, its stem is thin and wispy, and there seems to be three flowers that come off from the middle, with various other, like, sticks coming out from the side, still curling. Um, and as the wind blows, it kind of seems bendable. Um, and in the middle, it looks like there's a star pattern 
kind of trying to form with like little speckles of glow to it. However, this uh, black ichor, it uh, kind of like spreads vainly from that center out into the petals. Hmm. Daxer? I'll um, pull out a quill and I'll, not touching it, but using the quill instead, kind of examine it a little bit. It looks like these veins are like in, inside the, 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 the plant fibers. Yeah. Okay. Like in, in the middle, it's kind of like goop, but the rest of like the black whatever is kind of like veining out from the Spreading. Center. Apologize for having to say this word. Um, does it seem like the plant is secreting the eye core? Or um, does it look like the eye core is affecting the plant? Uh, mm. Looks more like secretions. Got it. Ooh. Looks like we found the culprit. Are, and there's just like a patch of these. Or is there just There's one? just three. Just three, just three like, of these, okay. Like one plant, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like one set of roots, and it's kind of got like a little bit of thing, and then it spreads out into three flowers. Right. I'm more asking if this is the only plant... Or if this is like a little bushel of these three flowered plants. This is the only plant right here. Okay, cool. Well. Normally, I would say we should um, capture this and take this back to um, the lanterns. Yes. Mm. Uh, so they can study it pretty far from there. So, Axel, you're our resident uh, intelligent book boy. So, thoughts? So, as far as I know, no one knows where Gloomthorn comes from. Yeah, it's a no mystery. One knows. It's a mystery. Hmm. Um, gosh, this is toughy. Um, well, we have two options. It's a vial and deadly poison. It seems to be isolated here. We could destroy it. Or we could try to take it as a live sample. It could be studied, maybe eradicated type or it could be used to produce more it could be used as a weapon it's a heavy decision that falls on our shoulders <laughs> not a fan of that third one there um, <clears throat> mainly because I don't really think it's going to help the wardens uh, uh, poison versus uh, the undead and the things that go bump in the night doesn't seem like the best move. Um, I, I'm personally of the mindset that we, um, we being a loose word here, um, excavate this plant and, and take it to someone much smarter than me to attempt to make some type of uh, antitoxin or perhaps in a way to eradicate this uh, uh, general nastiness from our world. Balfour? Seems if we can use it to benefit others, perhaps we can reverse engineer the dangerous parts of it and use it for good. But I'm no expert. Any wisdom, Oishin? Just kind of smile at the lot of you. Oishin's just eating the plant. Like, <laughs> <laughs> this actually gives me my juice back. <laughs> anymore. I need to like borrow your wisdom goat. and your strength <clears throat> and your fidelity and your poison. <laughs> <laughs> he'll he'll kind of like smile at you guys. It's gentle. Um, no, that seems all like wise choices to me. 
So I, I've got three items in my inventory, um, flask or tankard. I kind of thought of those as like alchemical beakers, kind of the forest collecting specimens. So I can either do it like old school, like I'm just gonna take two tankards, or if you want to let me flavor it as I can put it in like a little jar, I'm good with either one. Flavor it. I like flavor. flavor yeah, so I'll, I'll take out my quill and I'll, uh, the same quill, and I'll uh, kind of punch out holes in the soil around the plant. Mm -hmm. Careful to make sure that I get like all the way under the roots so I don't touch it. Mm -hmm. And then kind of sc sc scoop up that that soil and, and place it in the jar, being very careful not to touch the, the plant at any point in the process. And then I'm going to kind of blink another jar on top of it. Okay. You seem successful in this maneuver. I yeah. mean, it's not hard to take a plant out of ground. Girl, I feel like you haven't done that enough in your life. <laughs> and that's the only one. Like, there's like the three that sprouted up. It's, it's three flowers all from one stem, right? It's all one yeah. plant. One plant yeah. has three flowers, yeah. And that's the only Got one. It. Maybe in existence. Mm. I don't think so. Uh, Seems too easy. <laughs> yeah, because the bees would like pollinate, like, you know, move it around. That's the... Here's the other bits, yeah. Um friends just because we've stopped this um <clears throat> we've got hives potentially of this so we've got two options there one hope for an antioxidant nope that's not right one hope for an antitoxin two um we might have some hives we might need to i did mention to the farmer about um necessary quarantines and precautions. I don't know what those look like for him. Might does it look like keep selling honey or does it look like burn the hives. check the bees welfare to see if any of them else are like affected. Here's what I know about disease. You burn it, it goes away most of the time. Yes. Yeah, you kind of get a shrug from away. Uh, All right, team. Depends on the farmer. All right, gang. Here's a break. This is Scott Shane talking to Dwayne and Devin. Hey, buds. So we got ourselves a real Texas rodeo here. We got um, an objective that we need to do from our boy Oishin, which is to go into this forest. We've got a plant now that could be the key to many people living in the future. Um, mm -hmm. Kind of a ticking time bond on how long that stays a live specimen. Now, a dead specimen's not necessarily useless to us, but a live specimen is best. Yes, um, agreed. So that timeline, we can either like choose to ignore and like go with a dead specimen, or we can try to rush this to somebody who can keep it alive and do something with it. Um, I think what's Oshuin looking like? It seems like he's like Abon is hinting to us that he's getting worse. He's, like he's, he's got the, he's... the black lung pop. <laughs> Good call out. Uh, I think it's probably a little more important. I mean, because maybe Oshin has powers to help us once he's a little bit better. Who knows? You're not wrong. You know, the other, the third prong is is um, stopping the people from dying from eating the poison honey. The, the, his yeah. operation burned the hives. That's kind of <clears> three <throat> prongs, I would say. So let's uh, bring this back in character. Max says, "Yeah, got it." <clears throat> Oi, uh, old buddy, old pal, uh, destroyer of worlds. Um, real quick, like, if you were to say your timeline before you got thirsty for someone's soul again, w would you say that's like a week, two weeks, a fortnight? The same thing, if you didn't know that's a month. How a you baker's feeling? fortnight. <laughs> it's like 13 weeks. It's two weeks in a day. Well, I would be able to tell you. Give me a second for Avon to look at the calendar. This has something to do with the moon. Let's blow up the moon. I don't know, man. There's some lore there. He'll kind of like do a thought. But like, I only have enough time for one adventure. I'm not sure I could go back and then go back. Sure, that makes sense. All right, so uh, we don't want him to die. That seems counterproductive to our main objective. What if? What if we kind of like half seed? 
What if we go to the Meadowkeep farmstead, uh, provide them the sample, and have them take it back uh, to town? I was going to say, maybe we wrap it up real tight. Uh, uh, <clears throat> maybe if we can secure it, ensure that it won't break and spill, and we make detailed instructions not to touch the plant under any circumstances, we could just ship it. We could just mail it to the academy where they study such things. I would know. I'm a wizard. I definitely went to school. <laughs> I didn't go to school. Don't uh, tell anybody. I, I agree completely. I think we, we can't ignore this, but we can't ignore our fr- um, acquaintance here. Um, Friend. Wishing. Uh, your word, not mine. Um, so, maybe, again, uh, the meadow, uh, meadow keep farm to... Uh, I don't know if maybe we give it to the farm. I think we could be able to take it to the post office. But yeah, I don't know where the nearest post office might is. There's one in town. We, me and Balfour went. <laughs> mm. We did indeed. Yeah, but was was it that like four? <clears throat> hold on, am I mixing up where we were? Was it that like four days away from where we are? Yeah, you're looking at like two and a half days yeah. away from where you yeah. are. Shouldn't mm. we give it to the farmers and give them some coin and have them ship it to said uh, smart person place? What if they just trip, though, you know? <laughs> uh, sure, but, like, I'm trying to solve two. I'm trying to kill two. It looks around. I cover Titania's ears. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to solve <laughs> two problems with one solution. <laughs> well, the only way that might be helpful is to ask them directly then play a guessing game uh, yeah sure but we gotta we gotta get on the same page here before we go and, and bicker Titania can you lift this can you fly this to the post office is this too heavy for you <laughs> she gives you a look <laughs> I'll wrap it up listen if only someone didn't take my strength or courage or whatever the fuck you took brains uh not for me i didn't have those me. in the I, first place i'm dumb now you're right uh yeah okay let's go ask the farmers uh with that we'll end the episode when you need mealtime inspiration it's worth shopping kroger where you'll find over thirty thousand mouth-watering choices that excite your inner foodie and no matter what tasty choice you make you'll enjoy our everyday low prices plus extra ways to save like digital coupons worth over six hundred dollars each week you can also save up to one dollar off per gallon at the pump with fuel points more savings and more inspiring flavors make shopping kroger worth it every time kroger fresh for everyone fuel restrictions apply would you please transport our biohazard? <laughs> <laughs> so who are we saving today? You know, we are uh, we are rolling for Dots RPG. You know, they make uh, accessible gaming tools for folks that are vision impaired so they can have exactly as much fun rolling dice as we do. And uh, we really want to support them. We really want to make sure that we show them some love. So we're going to roll for them right now. And we have rolled a four. Yay, a four. four. <laughs> so we hope you'll join us in uh, supporting this worthy cause, and we hope that you'll let us know what you rolled. All right, uh, moving right along to the things we have going on merch. If you want to see what we've got going on, you can go to store.lawfulstupid.org. That'll redirect you to our Etsy shop. We have a lot of shirts um, from different campaigns. We've got some posters from when we got our million uh, downloads. That's cool. I think we even have some stickers still from campaign three floating around in there. So go check out our stuff. And I'm sure I'm sure Avon is going to be putting together some more stuff for C. Five, so we'll be announcing that in our Discord whenever that does go down. And also, if you want to roll for humanity, go type in hashtag R4H. That's going to be the hashtag that we use that for. And uh, if you want to find us on our socials, we're pitching these pretty heavy right now. You can find us Lawful Stupid on IG, Lawful Stupid Pod on Twitter, and Lawful Stupid One on YouTube. 
Hooray! Number one! We're number one! Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, hope stars and wishes? Uh, hopes, hopes, I hope we eradicate this uh, nasty icker. That's my hope. Uh, I have a note here. Um, this is from me in the past. It says, Abon gets a star for B hyphen hind. <laughs> my little joke. Appreciate Tickled it. Tickled me. Hmm. I hope that Oisheen gets some of his power back and doesn't die. <laughs> That's what I hope. He seems real bad right now. He is an old man. I got the sick. <laughs> Anime diseases, we call it. Mm. This is true. I hope that you guys are having a fun time. <laughs> Sometimes a little worried when I feel like there's a lull. Um, but yeah, it feels we like can talk you guys about that are off going. Air. Having a good time, but I know where the lull is coming from. Okay, cool beans. But uh, it always feels like fun. But there's there's that. It is. But it's uh, my my confidence as a DM just as I build it up, and I, I know it takes time. But uh, imagine how many pauses there are in your home game when you don't have a recorder going, and mm -hmm. you're just and you're just having funsies. There's there's no when you look go to look up the rules. It's not an awkward pause. It's part of the game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's just one of those insecurities, and you know what? I don't yeah. mind having our listeners know that that yeah. does come as being a DM. So there's that. But uh, thank you for your, your support, guys. I appreciate it. Yeah. Avon, you're a great dominatrix. Cool. As we always say, <laughs> <laughs> we love you. We always say, we love, we love you. you. We love you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.